Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in and we are ending up today going into the weekend with this team that we kicked off with at the start of the week consisting of Mega Manetric, Lunala Kyogre, Tapu Lele, Cartana and Hydreigon. So we've seen a lot from most of the Pokemon on this team. I'd like to see a little bit more from the Manetric but it's been doing work here and there. Hopefully you can see a little bit more of it next week. We discussed some different options of changing up the team in yesterday's episode going into next week. So if you do have any suggestions as always do leave them down in the comment section below and uh, as always the team is in the description there is a roll paste pocket paste check it out if you'd like to and try it out if you'd like to as well but if you do try it out as always do let me know how you get on with it and uh, what your thoughts are on the team it is a little bit different from what you're normally seeing in the format at the minute so I think it's something that can be just taken and had a lot of fun with if nothing else so Without further ado, let's get into today's episode. Uh, music is on and we are good to go. So I think we just need to flip screens. Just momentarily, lock in some music. And um, like I said in our last episode, if you've got any preferences on what you'd like to... Uh, Music-wise on the channel, do let me know and I can make sure to play those next week. Um, but yes, if you've missed any of the episodes from earlier in the week, do go back up here. I'll put a card in for you and you can have a look at the progress of the team so far. It's been a really crazy ride. We've had some really nice games this week. And uh, I would definitely, if you have missed any of them, definitely go back, check those out. And uh, then come into this one, check out how we end up this week before we do make some changes next week. I think one of the things I really love about this team more than anything is that Psychic Sea Cartana. We saw it do some major work early on in the week. Um, and we haven't played it so much in the last couple of games, but it's done some incredible incredible work so far. Uh, Lunala is definitely one that we, I think, want to put Wide Guard on for sure. Um, but we'll discuss that at the end of the episode before we go into the end of it. Because uh, we've got a first opponent of the day, so we'll hop straight into team preview. So our first opponent today are playing a Ray Ogre team consisting of Rayquaza and Kyogre making up the restricted pairing of this team. Then you've got Stack Attacker, it's going to be an option of Trick Room on this team to support probably the Kyogre more than anything else. Going to have access to things like Wide Guard that we need to watch out for, Gyro Ball, Rock Slide, and potentially Skill Swap as well. Then you've got the Tapu Fini there, going to be the Terrain Support, also going to have access to some sort of Speed Control with Icy Wind more than likely. Nature's Madness, normally something there, probably Haze to counteract things that are boosting up. Uh, then Incineroar, Fake Out Support, Intimidate Support, Pivot Support as well, and then the Whimsicott. Something you don't normally see on these Ray Ogre teams, but very effective. One thing that does really put uh, the stoppers on it is that Prankster ability is Tapu Lele, so we can make use of that here. Um, what are we going to play? I feel like Cartana is incredible in this match. I really do. I feel like if we can keep the rain up and protect it from that Incineroar, it's really good. We just need to deal with the, the Rayquaza which we can <coughs> do effectively with Minetric possibly. Minetric also very good here. Um, so I do want to bring Minetric. I think I'm kind of leaning towards Minetric Kyogre here with Lele and Cartana in the back and leave Lunala Hydreigon. In the sidelines for this one I think we'll click in with these four and go with this. We'll click in and good luck to my opponent and um, feels weird not bringing Lunala but I think Cortana is going to do, like if we can get rid of the Rayquaza, Cortana can like literally sweep through this team. So if we can manage it right, then then it can be it can be quite good, quite effective, I feel. So Incineroar and Rayquaza coming out from my opponent, um, which I don't mind too much. So we can get the Intimidate with... I'm going to see the Intimidate from the Incineroar obviously onto our side of the field, not really going to matter too much because we are specially based. Um, but we can get the Intimidate back onto these targets with both of ours. Um, I do have to stay on the field from tack. No, I don't protect. I just don't want to give the Rayquaza room to, um, to get a Sword Stance up, which I feel like it probably could do here. Um, one of the things I could do is just Volt Switch out and switch into Tapu Lele with Kyogre. And then try and maneuver Kyogre back into that Manetric slot. Um, and then so we've got the Manetric in the back, Mega Revolt, so we can bring in the Intimidate again to kind of nullify any Sword Stance boosts. Because this is what I feel like my opponent is probably going to try and do here, is go Sword Stance Fake Out. Um, Target you fake out, probably the Manetric. 
Probably more than anything. I don't know. But let's see. The Rayquaza might be special as well. That's the thing about Rayquaza. You know, you can you can never you can never know what variant it is. It could be special. It could be all out physical. It could be banded. Um, I think that's what makes it so dangerous. It's unpredictability uh, when you're facing down against it. You can make a, a kind of a decent enough guess at certain points when you play it, but um, just by what's kind of paired up with and the rest of the team. But like a lot of the time, it's just it's just it's hard. It's hard in a best of one. But best of three makes it a lot easier to uh, to deal with. We are going to see the Kyogre come in for my opponent for that, and Sinner. We're going to preserve it for later on. Um, kind of maybe indicating that it, they expected the psychic terrain switch in. I think one of the things we have to try and do is is um, get Tapu Lele out of here. So we've got it to bring back in to to negate those extreme speeds that are so devastating from Rayquaza um, if left unchecked. And like I say, what we're trying to do is set up a board position where we get Kyogre back onto the field. Now we'll overwrite this Delta stream. So uh, if we can break a sash here on this Rayquaza that would be very useful um, because the Ice Beam then should be able to take it down and um, we'll get Manitric out of harm's way and then like I say with preserving that um, terrain from Tabu Lele what we can do is switch Manitric back in in this next turn so let's see what the Rayquaza goes. Just Dragon Ascent. Okay, it's going to be into the Lele slot. We might lose Lele here. Minus one. I don't know if we'll take it, to be honest. No. No chance. No chance at all. It's a shame losing Lele like that. And it is Life Orb. Ray. We'll bring in Minetric. We can Volt Switch the Kyogre. Get another Intimidate onto the Rayquaza. Slightly the Rayquaza switches out here though. Um, I'd say maybe the like I want to make a prediction. I feel like I've got to make a prediction here because I feel like we're falling like way behind in this match. So I feel like I think the Rayquaza switches out into Incineroar. So I want a Water Spout. I feel like the Kyogre protects here. So I want to switch. Manetric out into Cartana and get the Psychic Seed boost while I can. And we should switch out before anything, so it means we definitely get our Psychic Seed boost if the, like to say, if the Finny comes in for the Rayquaza here. Because that could be one option. I just feel like the Kyogre probably feels a little bit vulnerable, so it wants to protect. And the Rayquaza minus two definitely wants to protect. Um. It's just trying to stay ahead so we can we can gain a little bit of an advantage in this game. Well, we'll see. Uh, Cortana coming onto the field now. It's whether or not this Kyogre, this Kyogre attacks. If this Kyogre attacks, so we're in a bit of trouble. Rekaza switching out, like we thought. Cinerol coming in. Mm -hmm. He's going to get the Intimidate onto us. <laughs> but we will be able to take it down with the Water Spout. It's about whether or not this Kyogre protects, which it does here. Yeah. So, I mean, we guessed right. It's whether or not we want to switch out the Cartana now or not. Because um, the Leaf Blade now won't get the Kyogre. But we could get... <coughs> we could get Minetric back in. For Cortana, and we could we could ice beam the Rayquaza because if it goes Dragon Ascent, which it has to really do here, then we should get it on the minus one, and minus one life orb Dragon Ascent will take with Kyogre like no problem. Um, the opposing Kyogre might switch out; it might feel a little bit vulnerable. I don't know though. The other option is, like, if I wasn't minus one with Cartana, I think I'd be more inclined to stay and switch Kyogre out to Minetric. Get the Intimidate that way and then Leaf Blade into the Kyogre to pick up the knockout, but... I think if you're my opponent as well, you might want to attack into the Cartana slot with Rayquaza rather than concentrate down on the Kyogre at this point. 
and if they do that, that that will open a door up for us where we can we can happily get Nice Beam into the Rayquaza, pick up the knockout even in the Delta stream. Uh, minus one, we should get it. Kyogre actually switching out. Okay, stacks coming in, big stacks. Okay, so it's a good job. We I think they will go for that Cartana now. Um, let's see, we're going to see the Dragon Ascent. What's into the Kyogre? Okay, well I don't mind this too much. Um, yeah, we t I mean, life orbed, minus one. This Kyogre's a beast. We should pick up the knockout now. Should do, minus one. It's gonna be close. Yeah, we get it, okay. So that's good. Um, now the stack attacker. Stack attacker's gonna try and go for trick room, for sure. It's just whether or not a scald. And the hidden power of water is going to be enough to get the stack attacker. Which I imagine it probably is going to be enough. So I'll go Scald. I'll go hidden power of water. If the stack attacker protects here, then we get a free. Uh, like the Kyogre goes. The opposing Kyogre goes for. Yeah, it's going wide guard. Yeah. It's not going for the trick room. I think that's the biggest worry for us, really, because as soon as Cartana comes in, it can, it can do a job. Like. Our Kyogre should be able to. Wow, that does a decent amount of damage. Good work, little Minetric. Uh, Skull pick up the KO, and now Cortana comes in and just kills that Kyogre. So. Ooh, Thunder. Yeah, this will take down our Kyogre. Yep. But, like I say, now it's fine because Cortana comes in, doesn't need the boost. We've got Cortana and Minetric. And the game is done. So I think, like looking back at this game, it was the just getting that call right, um, where we we put enough pressure on the Rayquaza to say it's minus two. It's going to probably switch out to come back in later. Um, the the Kyogre protects. So rather than keeping just pressing attacks, keeping everything in, we switched Cartana out, get the Manetric in, which gives us that advantage going into the, the next turn. And I think from there it was a kind of domino effect, it, didn't it? It kept us in the game where we needed to. But very good game to my opponent and a nice way for us to kick off today. So hopefully we've got one more. Hopefully we can continue this streak and uh, keep things going. But we'll hop over to our other screen before searching for an opponent. Right, hopefully it doesn't take too long to bump into another opponent. Um, Let's go trainer version two because I don't know if we've ever had that on here ever. Um, but creeping slowly, but back towards that seventeen hundred mark, which I ideally would have liked to have been on at the start of the week, and then next week coming into this, we make tweaks to the chain to the team, and then we really push on with everything and see how far we can get with it because that's kind of all we're doing with the Valdon team, and then and then little Thea Thea was born, and then everything went, <laughs> went to pieces because yeah, it was all happening, wasn't it? But uh, hopefully we can keep that momentum going. But we've got our next opponent, Seven P, and uh, we'll hop straight into team preview. So my opponent playing a QR code team looks very fun. Looks like one I would love to actually pick up and have a go with myself. It is going to consist of Tapu Lele, Mewtwo, Tapu Fini, Incineroar, Groudon, and Stack Attacker. So we've we've got that really fast offensive mode between the, the Tapu Lele and what's likely to be the Mewtwo Y there. So really hyper offensive psychic mode there um, coming out from my opponent. And then you've got the Tapu Fini uh, for the terrain support. The dual terrain support and Cinerol for fake out support and Groudon and the stack attacker there. Um, I really want to lead Hydreigon, I really do because I feel like my opponent leads with the, the Tapu Lele and the, the Mewtwo. Um, and yeah, they can Moonblast us, but we are sashed, so we can always guarantee our tailwind up, and I think that would be pretty huge for us if we can do that. If we can go Hydreigon and hmm, what to pair with it though, that's the that's the question. We kind of want to draw away some attention I think. Um, if we go, I don't want to bring Kyogre up front. I could go Cortana though and then go Kyogre and um, Lunala. Yeah, let's go Lunala in the last slot. It's like a tricky team. It is a really tricky team. I feel like Cartana can be good here with the Psychic Seed boost, but at the same time, 
we need to be careful. We need to be very careful. We need to get Tailwind up. Um, I'm not too worried about the Trick Room mod of my team, my opponent's team. It's more this fast defensive psychic mod that really does <coughs> worry me slightly. But this is fine. I mean, we couldn't ask for a better lead for ourselves because we can Sacred Sword Earth Power the Stack Attacker. We could Smart Strike the Tapu Lele if we want. And the Stack Attacker's got to feel so pressured in front of this Cortana. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do we do? <clears throat> I don't want to leave the Tapu Lele alone. That's the one. Th I think that's a big mistake from ourselves if we leave the Tapu Lele alone. I don't think you got Trick Room here. I think we got Tailwind. And I'm just going to Sacred Sword into the Stack Attacker. Ooh, I like Switch. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is not good. <clears throat> Sacred Sword not going to be doing anything to this Lele. Now this is where we see t this is where we see Trick Room. <laughs> Ally switch Trick Room. <clears throat> it's all right. It's all right. Hmm. Let's go Earth Power into the stacks, and uh, let's go. Do we go Smart Strike into the Lele? Does it switch out? I mean, that's the thing. It probably switches out. Um, I could just Sacred Sword just to check it. The Lele is locked in. It has to switch out. It has to switch out. It has to switch out. We could deal with the Stack Attacker from here. So one of the things I could potentially do is go Dark Pulse into the Lele and go for Sacred Sword into that Stack Attacker, which is what I'm going to do. Incineroar coming in here would be the worst. Let's go out on. I don't mind that. I really don't mind that. So if this stack attacker doesn't protect here, it's a good chance that we actually pick up the knockout and get a beast boost. And then Cortana's not in a bad place. It really isn't. As long as we can get Kyogre onto the field and protect it from these fire type attacks. Gyro Ball, where are we going? Into High Dragon. That's fine. High Dragon taking it like a champ though. Gets his dog pulls off. All the damage onto the ground on be very handy. Sacred Sword, there we go. Into that stack attacker. It's not quite enough to pick up the knockout though, which is a little bit of a shame. Um Hmm. Let's think about this. Uh what have we got in the back? Lulala, Kyogre. I don't really want to switch in Kyogre, to be honest. I'm gonna go for an Earth Power into to the stack attacker and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna protect Cortana this turn. I'd love to see my opponent double up into the, the Cortana here. Like gyro ball, precipice blades would be amazing. I just don't see it happening. Ooh. Oh. oh Gravity. Precipice blades. This is devastating for us. The move they will never miss. Mm. Okay. It's unlikely that they've got skill swap then. So they got Trick Room, they got Gravity, got Gyro Ball. Hmm. We got Ogre though. <coughs> we got Ogre! If they got skill swap, I mean <coughs> ultimate, ultimate support stack attacker. It's just crazy good. Does everything to alleviate any any problem in any match. Okay, so Tailwind's still up. Um, but it will run out this next turn. If we can clear the field now. If we can. I'm going to Scald the Groudon. And I'm going to go for that Sacred Sword. I'm actually not. I'm going to go for a Smart Strike in case the stack switches out. It's unlikely that it does. But you never know. Smart Strike will get the stacks from this range anyway. Go Wide Guard. Okay, I don't mind this. Now this is where the Smart Strike doesn't pick up the knockout. The Precipice Blades will take with ball pretty comfortably. <sighs> yeah, there's a Scald. Okay, so I'd say we're pittering out now. If it is that Psychic combination in the back, then we should be all right, because I tell when pitters out, so we'll underspeed everything. It's just, it's not it is. yeah. <sighs> Don't know why I was worried about that so much. 
Beast boost. Here we go. Ba -ba 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 beast boost. Tailwind run. Tailwind runs out for us. So we're in a good position now. We can snipe the Lele, which we know is scarfed. So Tailwind's still up in the Mewtwo. Oh, and we got Lunala in the back. So what looked like a bad situation turned out to be a great situation. So there's a Mewtwo. <coughs> And I think this falls back to the very start of the week when I was talking about this this bulky Kyogre. Um, this is why it's so useful. Uh, so we'll just Smart Strike the Lele and we'll Scald the Mewtwo. Likely we see Protect from the Mewtwo here. Try and stall out this Trick Room. But it's a good job that Tailwind pit it out when it did. But the Lele's gone. A goner. 100%. So there's Mega Me 2 Y, which will probably be well, uh, the second fastest. Probably won't have to be the Lele. That scarf depends how fast the Lele is, though. There's a Scald, because Kyogre is the fastest thing on the field. No protect from the Me 2, though. But at this point. Oh. What is this? It's not even Scarfed Lele. Oh! <laughs> we could lose this now. We could genuinely lose this. Uh, this is into Cortana, which is like, oh no, okay, now nah, we've won this. That was into Cortana. Did you done? Shout Psyche. Hmm. Really thought it was scoffed Lele. Z move Lele. Smart strike. Pick up the win. Uh, the KO there, and then got Lunala to come in. Uh, we'll lose Cortana here to to Mewtwo, but there's no way Lunala loses one on one with Mewtwo. <clears throat> Aurora Sphere, yeah. There we go. Wow. That really caught me off guard. I like it. I prefer it to Scarf Lele, for sure. And I mentioned turn back to normal. Psychic Train disappears. And we can bring in Lunala. And a Moonguys Beam is all we're going to need to deal with this Mewtwo. Because I don't even think a Shadow Ball through the shield will get us. Pretty sure it doesn't. I think it needs help in hand. We'll soon find out, because if it's got it, yeah, it's got it. Let's see. Do some big nasty damage though. Nah, Lunala, it's too strong. Too strong. So very good game to my opponent. Nice way for us to finish off the week as well with the team. Such a good game. I think we've had some really good games today. Uh, we've had really good games all week, so it's been extremely good. I really loved uh, playing this team, and I hope you guys have as well. So uh, do let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are of the team, what you would maybe change going into next week, and I will take them on board before making any changes. But we'll be back on Monday with some revamp revamped stuff on the team some revampation if that's even a word but we'll have some um changes to the team going into monday's episode thank you so much for tuning in though guys have had a fantastic weekend whatever you're up to and uh, i will speak to you all very soon so until then take care and bye bye